Exterior Angle Theorem. Let's read the text first and then I will come back to you. The exterior angle formed by extension of any side of a triangle. Let's say you have a triangle. Let's call this as A, B and C. Right? So a triangle basically has three angles. Okay? Let's call them small a, small b and small c. Right? These three angles basically are known as interior angles of a triangle. Okay? And we know that A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree. Right? The exterior angle formed by extension of any side of a triangle. So let's say you extend any side of a triangle. Let's say we extend this side here. Then the angle which is formed outside of this particular line, let's say, which is this angle. Let's call this as E. Okay. This is known as the exterior angle. It is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles of the triangle. So if you see, this exterior angle will be equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. Which are the two opposite interior angles? B and C. So angle E is always going to be equal to B plus C. Right? Let's say suppose instead of this you would have extended this side. Let's call this angle as angle F. Then F is going to be the equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. Which are A and B. So you just leave this adjacent interior angle. Right? Similarly, if suppose you would have extended this side, let's call this angle as G. G will be equal to again the sum of two opposite interior angles which is A plus C. Okay? So this is what the exterior angle theorem is. So let's say suppose you were told that in a triangle A, B, C, let's say this triangle only, given A is equal to 30 degree, B is equal to 45 degree, not 45 degree actually, let's say 65 degree, find F. Now F we know is the exterior angle and that is equal to the sum of A plus B. So F will be 30 plus 65, 95 degree. Right? Now given that the exterior angle is going to be a sum of these two opposite interior angles. Okay? And we also know that none of the angles can be zero. Right? So F is always going to be greater than A and F is always going to be greater than B. Right? Because F is equal to the sum of A and B. Angles cannot be negative or zero. So they have to have a proper value. So F is always going to be greater than A or B. Now you must be wondering, how come this is possible? What is the reason why does this happen? Let me show that to you. Now if you notice, let's say, take the case of C and F. C plus F is equal to 180 degree. Right? Why? Because this is a straight line, so they form a linear pair. Okay? But also, if you notice, A, B and C are the three angles of a triangle. So, A plus B plus C together are also equal to 180 degree. Right? Since the right hand side of these two equations are equal, the left hand side should also be equal. Or in other words, C plus F will be equal to A plus B plus C 
or f will be equal to a plus b plus c take this c to the other side minus c these two gets knocked off a plus b right so f is the exterior angle and a and b are actually the two interior opposite angle that is the reason why the exterior angle is always equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles.